some coin enthusiasts will be able to add a quarter dedicated to the first female principal chief of the Cherokee Nation to their collections on Monday. The Wilma Mankiller Quarter is the third coin released under a U.S. men's program celebrating the achievement of diverse prominent women in American history. Mankiller led the Cherokee Nation from 1985 to 1995 and is credited with boosting tribal enrollment and employment and reforming the tribe's programs for health, children and housing. On one side of the quarter Teresa portrait of President George Washington. The other side you'll find the late chief in a traditional shawl. On her left is the seven-pointed star of the Cherokee Nation. The Cherokee National History Museum in Town Crow, Oklahoma, will host a launch event and live stream Monday morning, where some of the coins will be made available to the public. Wilma Pearl Man Killer was born in 1945 in Tahlequah. The surname Man Killer refers to a traditional Cherokee military rank, like a captain or major. I'm fairly soft spoken and people, sort of, have an image of what a woman named Man Killer would be like, and I don't think that I really fit their image, she told Fresh Air in 1993. And I know it's an unusual name so I, you know, am not defensive or offended by people's reaction to it. Man Killer became the first woman to head a major Native American nation in the U.S. She served two years as Deputy Principal Chief from 1983 to 1985, followed by a decade as Principal Chief. Under her leadership, tribe enrollment tripled, employment doubled and new housing, health centers and children's programs were established, according to the Wilma Mankiller Foundation. In 1998, she received the Presidential Medal of Freedom from President Bill Clinton, the highest civilian honor in the U.S. Mankiller nearly died in a severe car accident in 1979. She said the experience was life-changing, in that it led her to accept what she called a Cherokee approach to life. I think the Cherokee approach to life is being able to continually move forward with kind of a good mind and not focus on the negative things in your life and the negative things you. Without those experiences, I don't think I would have been able to lead. I think I would have gotten caught up in a lot of nonsensical things.